why would you encourage young professionals, especially those who may never have attended an event like TapiCon, to attend the different networking events planned for the live event in October? I think, um, especially in you know times of COVID, it's a good way to connect with similar people and feel like feel, build a form of camaraderie within the industry. It's it's hard to do that when you're used to like you know, especially for young professionals you're coming off of like your dorm life and maybe fraternity or club and organization life and when you shift into a workplace like your new peeps i guess kind of become different and and it's just important to you know know what's out there in terms of like different jobs and roles and and all of that not even from a company jumping standpoint but for a career development standpoint it's like oh tell me a little bit about what you do i might be interested in doing that one day in the future so definitely camaraderie and and even just personal development and investing in themselves i mean the question was about the in-person event in october so there's always great benefit to building that network in our industry. It's really a pretty close, tight-knit group. And I mean, getting young professionals to we'll say go to the editives committee and meet the the people who like wrote the books. You know, it's it's a little intimidating to you know, pick up Dr. Hubie's book, Menci State, and kind of read about wet in chemistry. But if you're sitting having lunch right next to him around a table, I mean, all of a sudden he's maybe a little less intimidating and more just Marty. And and you get a lot of that by attending the conference in person. And I said, just because we can, because hell, I'm tired of being in my room. <laughs> Somebody wants to meet with me, okay.